Good morning. This is George. Hey, George. What's going on? This is Steve Robinson from the Kirk Minahan Show. You are live to tape with Kirk. Hi. Good morning. George, how you doing? Good morning, man? everybody. Really good. good. Thank you. Good. So, uh, we it, it, a long, long story semi-short. So, Steve Robinson, I'm, we're doing a show in Boston. We're down in South Carolina right now because we're working on another project. But we're taping our podcast every day down here before we go to work. And Steve, I went to his place to tape the show, the place he's rented. And he's got your fireplace thing going. And it says directed by George Ford. And I, as a film, huge film fan, I, I have to say, I, I first mocked it. But then I was like, it's kind of interesting. Like, somebody actually does have to direct this. <laughs> That's right. What is, the, what is like the direction? And now I understand it's not like directing, you know, uh, 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 Lawrence of Arabia or something. But what is the, pro, like, when you say you direct fireplace for your home, which we're putting on right now, Steve, go which I find very comforting. What is the, like, give me the whole, give me as much of the process as you can. Oh my gosh. All right. So the process is, uh, it took two years to film that thing. And literally the direction, I've had a lot of people asking about that. And the way the wood burns, the type of wood you use, the wood density, all of that are factors. The wood kindling underneath that fire, uh, it's, it's cedar kindling and it gives us a crack in the pop. And then right. the type of wood, I was weighing wood. It was, it was a, it was a nightmare. So, two, so, so when you say two years, so were there just a, a million like, uh, attempts that were just thwarted? Right. I would say I quit about a thousand times. It, it just, <laughs> oh, Jesus. It was just, it turned into something, you know, one of those things that you just really want to get finished yeah. and it just never finishing, but you just never give up. And, I just kept doing it and doing it over and over and over. And I mean, it was insanity. It has to be one take, right? It does. And that's, that's the whole problem. So it's, it, that's why it's, you know, often imitated, but you know, never really, really truly copied. Um, it's just, it's so difficult to do. And that's why you don't see a lot of fireplaces in, in big screen uh, shows because the cameras, they all interpret that uh, spectrum of light in a different way. And usually it turns out to be really bright white. And uh, it ruins the rest of the shot. So they stay away from any type of that type of fire. What, do you like uh, just like a, a business question? Do you like do this and then pitch it to Netflix or do you sign a, a deal with like, how does it wind up going to Netflix? Yeah. So that's a really, that's a, that's a tough road to, uh, you know, the show business uh, route is, uh, is tough. You've got to know people. And uh, I didn't know anyone. And so you have to just kind of, scrounge and gravel and grovel and i mean it's it's tough it's it's a there's no real right path um you know i, I don't know if i have a suggestion for anybody but um as, as a filmmaker it was it was very difficult uh way to go it just uh it was, it's crazy does it get i mean does it get a lot of it must get a lot of views especially I mean, are people watching it like crazy do you have any idea of knowing yeah so um i i um, you know, as Netflix, they, they don't publish their numbers, right? right and right. so I try to start predicting that the cool thing about Netflix is they have most popular. And so a week and a half ago, it, it showed up on most popular. And then, um, so all my friends are calling me, hey, it's most popular, just so you know. And then there's a thing called trending. Yep. And then that trending comes up. Well, uh, last couple of years, they've been posting these uh, notices, like, you know, top 10 on Netflix now, right? So it's this little, the top 10 shows. And the last couple of years at Christmas time, I think it was number two uh, for several days. So it's pretty cool to be number two on Netflix, and it's a fireplace. So, yeah. I mean, so like, I imagine you're going to do another one next. Like, do you just start in like months before? Yeah. So um, I, I have tons of fires. I just got I've got all kinds of I've got like probably 200 titles that uh, people and. I've got about 150 that no one's ever seen right. uh, here on the on hard drives and everything. And so, you know, I'm I'm pitching it all the time to uh, various places. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of a lot of places just say no. And I'm hoping that Netflix will say, hey, hey let me see the other ones because I've got some really cool ones. Mesquite Fire. Um, I even made a, a fire and uh, did a fire for a really uh, cool movie. It's a it's uh, called Cold Pursuit, starring Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson, yeah. and he's. Yeah, so behind him, there's a, a fireplace that no one's really ever seen. It's a variation of the classic fire that's on oh. Netflix, but it's different. And so, yeah, I'm hoping that more people will pick them up. You know, where, cool. you know what would be great in the normal, in a, in a, in a post-pandemic world, say a year or two from now? Christmas season, you're going to the regular movies, going to the movie theater, like in December, having this in front of me for 20 minutes of that stupid trivia or, or something. I would, see, I would like that. <laughs> that's what I would like. 
You know, I, Steve said something yesterday on your podcast that was uh, pretty awesome. He said, quote, deep in evolutionary biology. And I'll tell you, if more people watch the fireplace, I think it would calm people down, relax people more, and it'd be just it'd just be a, a really, you know, nicer place to live. So, George, when did you sco- discover that you just had this love of fire? Did that did that precede well, your filming? Don't make him out to be a pyromaniac, Steve. I well, mean, I mean he obviously yeah, loves he, fire. He has a passion for well, it. I love fire. Well, is Scorsese in the mafia? I mean, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> let let the man speak. All right, I'm sorry, George. Go ahead, please. <laughs> oh, that's pretty that's pretty funny. So back when I was a little kid, uh, you know, my I lived on this farm. We we um, we had this house. It was built in 1892, and there's this crazy furnace that's down in the basement. And no one wants to go down in that basement. It's it's only got like two light bulbs. It's dark. It's it's cold. It's scary. And for you know a six, seven, eight year old kid like me going down there was just pure pain and suffering. And you know you're walking up the stairs, leaving, and you're looking behind you because some, you know something's gonna kill you. And my dad showed me how to make this fire uh, in the furnace. And he made me, he, he showed me, he goes, hey, you got to make this fire last all night long. So here's what you're going to do. Don't use this wood, use that wood. And so he started to show me how he sorted the wood. So I would stoke this furnace. And um, then if I, if, hey, if I wanted to get warm in the morning, I had to go down there at like, you know, seven-year-old, eight-year-old. Uh, it, it's six in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, you go down there and, put wood on for the whole family it was it was just a, it was a crazy experience uh one that i'll never forget um and it was i i'm so thankful for because not a lot of people get to grow up that way and i really appreciate uh just common stuff like heat in the house <laughs> are you more do you do more of what i guess i would call traditional filmmaking as well or no 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 no, no. i just i am just just background scenic uh you know the, the yeah the relaxing stuff now now, when you go out and hang out with family or friends, like if you're doing a camping trip or something like that, are you known as the fire guy? Does everybody look at you and just expect you to be the person who's going to start the campfire? Yeah, yeah, I get I get that a lot. And uh, sometimes I fail with that part. <laughs> so uh, I'm the guy that's, uh, well, actually, last time I didn't, uh, I kind of, everyone was like, hey, I'm going to do the fire, and a couple of people failed at it, and then I come back with this, uh, this old rotten stump. And I said, this is the perfect fire. This thing's going to burn out all night. And uh, I, it was kind of rotted. And, and yeah, I'm always challenged with the task. And I, I, I uh, routinely fail. Well, how, many, <laughs> how, many, how many ones do you have on Netflix right now? Uh, man, there's so many. Uh, there's variations. So I think there's maybe four or five variations of the two common ones. The classic fire that I made in, in uh, 2010. Right. And... Uh, and that's a story in itself. Holy smokes! The reason I made that, and then uh, the Birchwood fire I made afterwards, and then hopefully they pick up my other stuff. I've got some three D. I was the first uh, on um, Direct TV with uh, uh, pay per view with a three D um, product, and uh, that was pretty cool. First in the world that I know of, and uh, some other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, so I mean, I appreciate because my first reaction was like, oh, I mean, you start a fire and you put a camera on it, but it is way more intricate than that. I mean, and, and, and I do appreciate that. It takes, it's, it's, it's a study in patience, really, because I would not have the patience for this. I'd lose my mind if I did a thousand of these and they kept screwing up. It, it would drive me, it would drive me nuts. It would drive me nuts. Absolutely true. Uh, the different brand of cameras, it gives me a whole new uh, feeling for for what filmmakers really go through. Uh, you know, kind of like what Tom Cruise goes through, right? When he's filming Top Gun and uh, you know, I'm a pilot myself and I just love that kind of thing. And, but you've got, you got shutter speeds, you've got uh, temperature settings in the camera. Um, you've got all kinds of just different cutoffs you could create. Those cameras are really complicated and to get the right shot is really difficult. And that's why you don't see a lot of fireplaces uh, on television and, uh, you know, on streaming platforms that really look very good. And uh, it, it, it's hard to do. Well, we appreciate it, George. We'll, uh, we'll check in with you down the line. Thanks so much. Okay, you got it. Thanks, right. guys. Thanks, George. Love your show. Thanks, buddy. Right. Bye-bye. Right, buddy. Thanks, George. I mean, come on. What a great guy. <laughs> He's a great guy. What a great. <laughs> it is very interesting to think about the, the unique ways people scrape together a living, you know. Well, I mean, this is the, but again, there's a market for it. Yeah. He loves the show.